Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this lovely 2017 Infinity QX30 Premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. Uh, this one, we took it on trade. Uh, actually, it was purchased uh, a few years back as a uh, certified pre-owned vehicle from us. And the customers, uh, they just recently exchanged it for another pre-owned Infinity, this time something a little bit bigger. I think they traded it for a QX50 or QX60. Obviously they love the Infiniti brand, but the QX30 is our smallest crossover and they just needed a, needed a little bit more space, which is understandable. But if you don't need all that space, you're looking for something small, easy to park and maneuver in a city or urban environment, the QX30 is the perfect luxury crossover for you. This one's a uh, local, actually I wouldn't say local, it began its life in the uh, California area then it came up here into the Washington, so it's a West Coast vehicle, Clean Carfax West Coast vehicle, two previous owners, 42,180 miles at the time of making this video. Nicely equipped with a premium package, uh, navigation package. You have this big roof panel, glass roof panel, and a sunshade to dim things down. Obviously, it's not gonna get too bright today. And that roof panel makes a big difference because it's a smaller vehicle, so it just gives it a bigger, brighter, happier feeling having that glass roof panel versus not having it. You have this nice Napa leather interior. Uh, dual clutch transmission. This is the only Infiniti you can get with a dual clutch transmission. Uh, partly because it uh, pl shares its platform with Mercedes. Uh, Infiniti partnered up with Mercedes when they developed the QX30. I'll tell you a little bit more about that shortly. Uh, dual zone auto climate control. Heated seats, beautiful black piano finish. Navigation, rear parking camera. Automatic dimming mirror, universal garage door opener, steering wheel paddle shifters if you do want to take control of those seven forward gears, a uh, nice leather up steering wheel with a uh, nice contrast stitching, uh, Bose sound system. This is the all wheel drive model featuring intelligent all wheel drive. The QX30 is available in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. There are some differences. The front wheel drive has kind of more car like design influences, where the uh, all wheel drive version has a higher ride height and more crossover SUV design influences. In fact, I did a video going into depth about the front, the differences between the front wheel drive and all wheel drive. You can find that video on our YouTube page, Infinity of Tacoma One, um, and you can learn a little bit more about the differences if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into the QX30. I only have about seven or eight minutes for this video, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth than that. Nice uh, color combination with the wheat and nice uh, white exterior. Premium alloy wheels. So the QX30 uh, was developed with Mercedes. It's largely, uh, its platform's largely based on the uh, Mercedes-Benz CLA and GLA series. Um, Infinity kind of adds their own flavor. They, uh, the sheet metal, uh, the way it handles, the way the suspension set up, a lot of that stuff is handled by the Infinity engineers. In fact, the QX30 definitely has a more bolder design uh, than its Mercedes siblings. You know, the German styling is a little bit more understated, conservative, where the QX30 is kind of a little bit more the opposite. It's a little bit more bolder, more contoured, sexy styling. I mean, look at the curves in the hood and in the doors. Yeah, it actually has some of the most dramatic curves you'll find in a production automobile. And it's not cheap uh, when you you build a vehicle to add all these curves in the sheet metal. It makes it a little bit more complicated and a little bit more expensive and time consuming to manufacture. But this is a luxury car, so they want it to look good. And I'll also let you on a little other secret uh, besides uh, the difference between this and its uh, Mercedes sibling, is with Mercedes, you only uh, get a uh, bumper to bumper warranty, or with the Infinity, you get a powertrain warranty. So. On a lot of the, these Mercedes, the warranty is probably close to being up with the four-year 50, but this has a six-year, 70,000-mile uh, powertrain warranty, which covers the engine and transmission. So it's going to have a little bit more warranty coverage. And also, when they're new, uh, apples for apples, the Mercedes were a little bit higher price point than the comparable Infiniti. I don't know why. Maybe Mercedes figures, oh, we have a very prominent luxury name. Maybe our name alone will help us get a little maybe a one or $2,000 premium for a similar product. So that's some other food for thought. So if you're not, you know, committed, oh, I need to have a Mercedes. Everyone needs to have, see me in a Mercedes, obviously. Infiniti is a great luxury brand itself too. 
Um, I've been with Infinity 16 years. I own one, and it's one of my favorite car brands in the world. Uh, for an engine, you'll find a 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, 208 horsepower, 250 pound-feet of torque. That's a very common uh, engine you'll find in a lot of Mercedes products. It's kind of like their workhorse engine. Uh, great engine. And uh, why would Infinity not just develop a vehicle from the ground up itself? Well, it costs a lot of money to develop a car and platform sharing is actually a little bit more common than you think. I can go over dozens of examples, but a more recent one would be the new Toyota Supra, which is largely based off the BMW Z4 platform. Obviously, Toyota has boatloads of money uh, and experience. Uh, they could develop a car uh, very easily on their own, but BMW makes some of the best you know, performance cars in the world, arguably, and uh, they figure we'll just uh, kind of use their technology and base uh, our, our new Supra off that platform. And in execution, it's done really well. It performs amazingly. It definitely has its own personality versus the Z4. And it's been very well received by the automotive press. And they seem to be selling well as well. We actually had a Supra not too long ago and I was pretty impressed by it. And I was a little bit jaded, you know, because I grew up working at Toyota. I drove the, you know, the Toyota Super Turbos of the 90s working at Toyota, so I have a love for them. So I was a little bit, oh, a BMW Z4, you know, Toyota with Toyota badges. Well, it's a lot more than that. And it's the same thing with this QX30. It's more than just a Mercedes-Benz GLA with Infinity badges. It has its own personality and its own distinct character. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.